Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about three methods in JavaScript. One is like call, apply, and bind methods. Let's start. Open browser. Open developer window. Open console. My question is, I have one function is that. I have one function. Yeah, what? Here I have some data console dot log of one call. This is the method. How many ways we can call this method? How many ways we can call this method means directly we can call. Yes, we can get the output. The next one by using call method also we can call it. Yes, we can get the output. So this by using the apply method also we can call. Yes, we can get this output. By using bind method also, we can call this. Yes, we can get this output or not. So, this call, apply, and bind methods are used for what? First, call, apply, bind methods are used for to call a function. To call a function. Then, already, the general way we are calling like this, right? Already, it's there. The syntax is valid and it's working as expected. Then, why we go for call? Why we go for apply? Why we go for bind to call a function? That is our next level discussion or not. Just why we go for call? When you can go with this call to call a function? Okay, let's start now. Now, I have one function. I have one function. Yep. Let's take one argument. Let's take one argument. Here I have a message as usual. Console dot log off. Log off. Here this dot x plus a. This is the one. This is my function. This is my function. If I call my function, if I call my function directly, yes, you can call it. Why? Because my function take one argument, I pass it that argument. So my a value is like what 10. So this part is like 10. What about this dot x? My this dot x, any function you call inside that function, my this is pointing to what? My this is pointing to window object. If you see here, my this is pointing to what window object or not. So if it's a root object or it's like a parent object, a scoper object in your JavaScript. Window is the scoper object in your JavaScript. So inside this window, my this represents what window object inside the window x is not there so that inside the window x is not there inside the object one property is not there then the default value is like undefined undefined plus a value is what a value i am passing like 10 right undefined plus 10 is like not a number not a number it's my output but but my output should not be like this. My output should be the valid output like 10, 30, 40, 50, like this. So they provided one more extra input, one more extra input. What is that input, you know? We need X value. So that they provided this X value in one object format where my object equals, inside this object, my X value, they give an X value 30, X value 30. Now, this particular object you have to pass to my f1 you have to pass to my f1 or this object you have to make it available inside my f1 like a current object now my this is pointing to what window by default if my this is pointing to my own object then the time i can get this dot x or not this is pointing to window x is not there but if this is pointing to my own object my x is there or not there Yes, there. So that my requirement is I want to call this function. I want to call this function by making my own object, by making my own object available like a current object. Like that, my F1 has to call. If you call directly, it's not possible. So that you should have to go with what? Some extra methods call the apply bind method. So that can we do with a call? call my call always take which object you want me to make it available like a current object here oh. the next one 
my original you are calling what internally you are calling f1 method only right the f1 original calling method take how many arguments one argument that argument you can pass it if you pass if you call like this this object is available like a current object this so that my this dot x is like what my this dot x is like a 10 30 okay my 10 is going like a first argument okay this dot x is like 30 plus 10 is like 40 is my answer or not so that why we go for call means if you want to call a function by making your own object is available like a current object then you can go with the call now can we go with the apply f1 dot apply method okay both are working these three methods working for same cause make your object is available like a current object inside that function and pass your original function take common arguments f1 take one argument right in the call directly you can pass that arguments it's take like a rest operator as an argument but in the apply it's take my second argument is like an array inside the array this f1 take how many arguments one argument that one argument you can pass here 10 arguments 10 arguments you can pass here that is only the difference syntactical there has a difference there that's it here directly you can pass my f1 arguments here you can pass your f1 arguments in the area format the, the next one is a bind method f1 dot bind is the method here also you can pass which object you want to make it available like a current object after that arguments you can pass it my f1 take how many arguments one argument that argument you can pass but see this if i use this syntax i get the result directly if i use this syntax i get the result directly but if i use the same syntax call apply call replace with the apply i get the output apply replace with bind but i didn't get the output that means my find method returns me what you know one more function okay that function that function is what you know the same function only but that this is pointing to what now my this is pointing to my own object my this is pointing to my own object is what go not window now any method returns one more function one more function any function returns one more function can we call it yes we can call it syntactically you can do like this also instead of passing the f1 arguments here you can pass in this function call also you can pass it see you can get this output or not my call apply bind methods working for same pause while calling a function you can make your own object is available like a current object your own object is available like a current object this instead of window okay my this should not point into window this should point into my own object for that purpose we are using these three methods thanks guys thanks for watching